size of documents on African motives, still on engineering science and one. Uh, in this platform, we shall be focusing on heat. Uh, that is uh, from the person paper, which was written in July, 2022. Uh, so we're not going to waste much time. The first question we are given, describe the difference between temperature and heat. So these definitions, actually they need you to understand them. All right, so we've got the two definitions that I have separated here. That is temperature is the hotness or coldness of a body. That is a uh, temperature, then heat, is a form of energy, all right? So it is part of energy, but temperature is the hotness or coldness of a body. So that is what you actually needed from this definition. All right, let's check the other part of the question. That is 8.2, state two disadvantages of a mercury thermometer. What are the disadvantages? So on the disadvantages, we have got these ones that it cannot measure very low temperatures. Mercury is expensive. Mercury is poisonous. The expansion of mercury is low. Then there is a slight evaporation of mercury. So these are the disadvantages that you can list uh, from, uh, from these ones. You can just take any two of your choice because remember you are given any two, all right. So that was the question. Uh, let's check the other part of the question uh, that we are given. In this case, we are given that heat transfers from a warmer body to a cooler body. Copy the table in the answer book and complete it. So you're supposed to copy this table and you complete everything, okay? So you, you redraw this table, then you complete the answers on 8.31, 8.32, 8.33, okay? So we are given an example here, then the propagation method. Suppose sitting next to the heater, how is heat is going to be transferred from the heater to CPO? That is what you are given in this case. So this is by radiation, okay? So that is by radiation. Then we are given only heating an iron rod in, in the fire, okay? You are using an iron rod in the fire. So this is iron, so it's going to be by conduction. So this is by conduction, all right? Then whenever you're talking of water, boiling water, the movement of heat in water, that is convection. So this is convection, all right? So you are going to redraw this table as it is with this answer, radiation, conduction, and convection. All right, 8.4. It can have different effects on, on materials. Give practical examples of the following effects of heat on substances. 8.41, uh, electrical effect of heat. All right, what is that electrical effect of what? Of heat. This is uh, actually on a thermal couple where we've got uh, the difference in changes of what? Of uh, heat, that is the temperature uh, differences, okay? Then we are given the change in resistance, okay? So where do we have that change in resistance? This can happen where metals, where metals, where resistance increases with an increase in temperature. So we can have that where resistance increases with an increase in temperature. All right, so that can be just two marks, guys. This So this one's your theory. I just advise you guys to, to revise your theory as much as you can. All right, 8.5, we are now given one liter of water is a mass of one kg. So one liter equivalent to one kg. Calculate the heat energy required to heat 75 liters of water from eight degrees to 95 degrees Celsius, the specific heat capacity of water. All right, so take note, we want to calculate heat and we know that heat is equivalent to mass times the specific heat capacity times the change in what? In temperature. So the mass of water is at 75 liters, but take note we are given that one liter is equivalent to one kg. So if one liter is equal to one kg, it means 75 liters is equal to 75 kg. This is one is to one, so 75 is to 75. So the mass is at 75 kgs. And here we have given the temperature T1 and the final temperature T2. So take note, the change in temperature means 
T2 minus T1. Okay, so you can write this formula as Q is equal to MC times T2 minus T1 like this. Okay, where M, the mass, we say it's 75 times the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4187 times the change in temperature, that's T2 minus T1, which is 95 minus eight. So you put 95 minus eight like this. Okay, so this is going to be your heat in this case. All right, so we are going to calculate this one uh, from our calculator. We can just insert the values. That's uh, 75 times 4187 times uh, 95 minus eight. So this is 95 minus eight. So you're going to obtain two, seven, three, and so on. This is the all value. Okay, so I'm just going to write everything that we are given in this case. All right, so let's see here our answer. So the answer was two, seven, three, two, uh, zero, one, seven, five joules, okay? Which we can convert to kilojoules or to megajoules, okay? If you convert to megajoules, you divide by six, okay? By 10 to the exponent of, which means you divide by one million. That is converting to mega. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Or on your answer, on your calculator to convert to mega joules, you multiply by the inverse, which is 10 to the exponent of negative six. So it's going to be 27, comma, three, two, like that. Okay. So this is 27, uh, comma, three, two, which is in mega joules. Okay. So this is the quantity of heat that is uh, being uh, required to heat 75 liters of, of water. All right, uh, let's check the other part of the question, which is going to be 8.6. All right, so let's see. 8.6, we are given to explain the principle of the biometallic strip, okay? What is the principle of the biometallic strip? So I have got the answer here that I want you to check and uh, please use this information. So for the biometallic strip, we are given that the bimetallic strip consists of two different types of materials bonded together. If it is heated, it will bend because of an equal expansion of different materials, of the different metal. So that is the concept that we have uh, that you can use. Just two marks, guys. Uh, please just revise this concept, all right? I think that one was clear. Then let's check the other part of the question, which is on 8.7. We are given that a prop shaft of a truck is 2,15 meters long at a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. So this is the original length of the, of the, of the shaft. Then the initial temperature, which is T1, is at 15 degrees Celsius, okay? Calculate the length of the shaft in meters at a temperature of 350, that when we increase the temperature, so this is our T2, and the increase in length is 80. So we are given the increase or the change in length, which is 8,643 millimeters. So we can convert this to meters. Milli means times 10 to the exponent of negative 3, or you just divide by 1,000, which is going to give you 0, 0,008643 in meters. Okay. So the question is, Calculate the length of after, that is the, the, the final length. So guys, all this part that we are given, the change in temperature, this and that does not matter because we have the change in length, we have the original length. So the final length is simply the original length plus the change in length or the change in length plus the original length. So our final length is going to be the original length, which was, 2,15 meters plus the change in length, which is 0, 0,008643, right? So this is 8643. So you add everything. So if we are to add this, we are going to obtain 2,158643 meters. That is your final length. There you do not change anything or to round off because uh, this is uh, an exact decimal. It's not an endless decimal. You only round off when you are given an endless decimal, but this one, you just leave your answer like that. Okay, so that was the question on heat from July 2022 question paper from Method African Motives uh, till we meet again.